Dad, I got the job. Yes, I knew it. I'm so proud of you. Welcome back to our channel. We are so happy that you're here to watch another video. It's me, Jack, and as usual, I will teach you six vocabulary words from a conversation in a real-life story video. Today's real-life story is about a woman who leaves her family for a better life and what happens. Before the video, let's take a look at the words. The first word is pathetic. Next are to stick together and to spark someone's interest. We will continue with as a matter of fact and to be fancy. The final word is to be frustrated. Okay, let's watch the video. Really? What's wrong, honey? I'm hungry, and the only thing we have in the refrigerator is an apple. I know, honey. I'm sorry. When I get paid at the end of the week, we can get some more food. You know, it still won't be a lot of food. You barely make enough money. You are the lowest paid employee at your company. I'm sorry. I am working very hard. Hopefully, I'll get a promotion soon. And what am I supposed to do until then? I am tired of being poor. This house is so small and pathetic. I want to live in a mansion with a big kitchen and plenty of food in the refrigerator. I'd like that too. But the most important thing to me is that we have a family that sticks together. As no matter what, no matter how much money we have. That may be enough for you, but that's not enough for me. You know what? This is your fault. You're supposed to provide for our family, and all you have is this low-paying job as an assistant. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't come from a wealthy family. You know that. I had to work hard to get the job that I have. Oh, and maybe if you worked a little harder, we wouldn't be so poor. I work extra long hours to provide for this family, and when I am home, I help out around the house, as you see. And if we could afford a dishwasher, you wouldn't have to wash the dishes. Everything about this house reminds me how poor and unhappy I am. Now, your son is unemployed and a loser just like you. I'm embarrassed by this family. Why are you so unhappy, Mom? You should be at a job right now. Why can't you help provide for this family either? You guys are so lazy. Emily, please stop. Come on, son. Let's go see a movie like old times, okay? Dad, can we talk? Sure, what's on your mind? Well, I've been thinking about what Mom said about me, being unemployed and a loser. Don't listen to her. She's just angry. And it frustrated. She doesn't mean what she says. But maybe she's right. Maybe I should get a job and help out with the bills. Son, you don't have to worry about that. You're still young, and you have plenty of time to figure out what you want to do with your life. But maybe she's right. Maybe I should get a job and help out with the bills. That's not true. You have many skills, talents, and passions. You just haven't discovered them yet. How do I discover them, Dad? Well, you have to try different things. Explore your interests. Learn new things. Meet new people. Find out what makes you happy. Well, maybe you'll see something in the movie that will inspire you or spark your interest. Really? Sure, why not? Movies are a great way to experience different stories, perspectives, and emotions. Okay, Dad. Let's go see the movie, then. It was a really good movie, Dad. Yeah, agreed. Honey! Hello? Honey! Dad, look. I'm leaving you to find a better life for myself. Goodbye forever. What are we going to do without Mom, Dad? Look at me, son. This isn't going to be easy, but we're gonna get through this. I'm gonna work hard, and you're gonna work hard. And if we stick together, there's nothing we can't get through. I promise you, okay? I love you, Dad. You're right. We can get through this together. And what you just said really inspired me. I promise to work hard, too. Good luck with the interview, son. 
Thanks, Dad. Dad, I got the job. Yes, I knew it. I'm so proud of you. I got the promotion. Congrats, Dad. Dad, this is a really beautiful house. You've done well for yourself, son. Thanks for always being there for me, Dad. Of course. You are my son. Let's go to a nice restaurant tonight. Okay, Dad. Sounds good. Louis will take us. John? Lisa? Is that you? Yeah. Hi, son. Hi, Mom. You can go, Louis. Wow, it's been years. It's been a long time. You guys look great. Fancy clothes, a luxurious car. Yeah, well, a lot has happened since you left us. You know, I worked really hard and eventually got that promotion. And actually, a few months ago, the CEO passed away. And, and I am now the new CEO of the company. Congratulations. It must have cost a fortune to provide for you and Tom. Well, I provide for myself now, actually. I got a great job in the city, and I bought my first house and my own car. Ah, oh, sounds like you both are doing great. I wish I could say the same. How has life been for you? Well, after I left you guys, I went out to find someone who could provide for me, and I found a really wealthy man. He was nice. And when he asked me to marry him, of course, I said yes. I had a beautiful home and the luxury lifestyle I was looking for. But after we got married, he wasn't so nice. As a matter of fact, he was pretty mean to me. And he even abused me. And then, he got married to a younger woman and kicked me out without any warning. So, I left with nothing. It's been really hard. Wow, I am very sorry to hear that. I thought having lots of money would provide security. But, if you don't have a family, you don't have anything. Hopefully, your life will improve, it sounds like. You've learned a lot. Yeah, I have learned a lot. And I learned it the hard way. Well, I better go. I have a job interview for an assistant down the street. We wish you the best. Bye. I am tired of being poor. This house is so small and pathetic. Pathetic. It means someone or something that is useless unsuccessful or weak the examples it was a pathetic performance the movie's special effects are absolutely pathetic i'd like that too but the most important thing to me is that we have a family that sticks together as no matter what no matter how much money we have to stick together it means people who support and help each other. The examples. It's important for family to stick together. My friends and I stuck together all throughout high school. Well, maybe you'll see something in the movie that will inspire you or spark your interest. To spark one's interest. It means to make someone interested in doing something. The examples. The story sparked my interest in learning about the history of this village. Some topics in the book sparked children's interest. Don't listen to her. She's just angry and it frustrated. She doesn't mean what she says. To be frustrated. It means feeling annoyed or less confident because you cannot achieve what you want. The examples. He gets frustrated when people don't understand what he's trying to say. She has become increasingly frustrated with her life. You guys look great. Fancy clothes, a luxurious car. To be fancy. It means expensive, fashionable, decorative. The examples. Harry took me to a fancy restaurant for our anniversary. We stayed in a fancy hotel near the Champs-Élysées. But after we got married, he wasn't so nice. As a matter of fact, he was pretty mean to me. As a matter of fact, 
It's used to add more details, facts, or to be clearer about what you are saying. The examples. Have you had many visitors yet? No. As a matter of fact, you're the first. As a matter of fact, the boat isn't made of rubber. Well, that's it. We finished our lesson for today. I hope you find these vocabulary words very useful. If you like today's video, hit the like button. And if you want to continue to learn English on our channel, please subscribe and then hit the bell for notifications. We always like to read your comments, so tell us what you think. See you in the next lesson.